Why do you call yourself master? Did you actually earn that title? <laughs> Welcome to the WBZ universe, where step by step, I'm creating the next massive sci-fi fantasy universe right here on YouTube. This week's animated short story is the origin of Master Keru, the frog humanoid from the planet Marikage. Fresh out of the Milky Way Academy, Keru and his master Zaba get an alert that Keru's home village is under attack by smugglers. This is precisely why the Milky Way Academy trains one guardian for every planet in the APA. Keru and his master arrive a couple hours later to find Jezero village in flames. The docks and treehouse in Keru's home village violently burn. Without a conscious Grota in sight, the insect humanoid smugglers comb the shore for the medicinal red mushroom called Sop. Keru and Master Zaba leap from the forest and take out the first couple smugglers with ease. But these flying insects are organized and swarm together to attack the Grota heroes. These insects can fly and have stingers on the ends of their fists. Keru and Zaba launch their tongues again, striking another two of their enemies. But as their tongues are stuck to their enemies, waiting to recoil back into place, they're vulnerable. All at once, the remaining insects stab them with their needle fists. The two take out a few more before everything goes black. Keru wakes to find a completely decimated village. Searching for survivors, he stumbles over his unconscious master. Keru looks for the red medicinal sop, but every bit appears to have been taken by the smugglers. Keru signals an SOS for his fellow graduates from the academy and begins looking for his family or other survivors. When his classmates arrive, Keru is just sitting next to Master Zaba. All they can hear him say over and over is, if they'd just left one, I could have saved him. Recognizing the weakness in their attack against a large number of foes, Keru invents a shield and a mace like no other. First is a two-part shield that can be split apart to launch his tongue attack. The second is a spiked tongue ring mace that will kill instead of stick. After forging his new equipment, Keru sets out to his home planet to convince his fellow Grota to build the same weapons for themselves. To get them to listen, he presents himself as Master Keru of Jezero Village. With no one left from Jezero Village to deny his claim, Master Keru is born. Keru went on to be declared guardian of planet Marikage by the Academy. Instead of retiring, he was then recruited to teach at the Milky Way Academy and now sits on the council overseeing the school. Master Keru may have never actually been awarded the title master, but if you ask anyone from his home planet, they will say he was the greatest master they ever had. Plus, if you question it, he'll swallow you. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and click the next video to go further down the rabbit hole. I'm the kingpin.